Hello guys, welcome back to We're On TV. Today we're going to be doing an 8 minute amp crusher workout. So that's 8 exercises, 45 second work, 15 second rest. So I'm going to start the timer and we're going to go right straight into it. Here we go. First one, crunches. So feet up in the air, hands up to the sky and just crunch, back down, crunch. And make sure doing this workout, you want to keep your belly push down to the ground, keep your lower back flat on the floor and just make sure you keep your core nice and tight, squeeze those abs, we're working the middle portion of the body today, there we go, 10 seconds left, we're going to have a 15 second rest and then on to the next one, so it's a quick, here we go. All right, good. So next one, we've got alternate jackknife. We're gonna maintain on the floor. We're never really gonna get up for this one. What we're gonna do is keep your legs straight, and then we're gonna do alternate jackknives. Here we go. You can keep your other leg rested on the floor. If you want something a little bit more advanced, then keep both hands and legs off the floor and do an alternating jackknife. But make sure while doing so, you don't want to arch your lower back. Keep it pressed onto the floor because a lot of mistakes people do is once they, once they lift both the legs and the feet off the ground, the lower back starts to arch up. You don't want that. Push your belly to the floor. And do an alternating jackknife. Left to right. Really working the full length of the core. And done. Ooh, it is very hot to be filming outdoors. Okay, next one reverse crunches. Lie back on the floor. Again, belly pressed down. And we're just gonna go up. This is for a, a modification. You're just gonna do reverse crunches. You can put your head, lie down to the floor. Or if you want something a little bit more advanced, keep your legs up straight. And we're going to do leg raises. If not, just do the traditional legs bent, reverse crunches, focus, focusing all of that effort into your core, using the lower part of your abs. It's ab day. Woo! There we go. Less than 10 seconds left. Just tap the floor, back up, tap back up and done all right next one we've got toe touches so what you're gonna do is just sway from left to right touching the heel on your left and then your right keeping your shoulders off the ground here we go just tapping from left to right keeping the same momentum and try and do as many reps as you can of course doing it in the best form possible this whole workout is only eight minutes focusing solely on your core to get that nice six pack ready for the summer 10 seconds left keep it going sorry I should call this heel touches Okay, good. Okay, so now we've got alternate leg raises. So like before, like the jackknife, instead this time we're gonna keep our, head, our shoulders to the floor and then we're just gonna alternate between each individual leg. Ooh, mosquito. Ooh, bit of blood there. Alternating each leg all the way up as high as you can. The straighter your legs, the better. I'm not perfect at it, but the straighter, the better. And if, again, if this is a little bit too hard, what you can do is you can bend your knees instead of doing a full leg raise. That works too. If not, just do the full leg raise all the way up, back down, keeping both legs off the floor and make sure you press your belly button to the floor. Oh, 
Good. Okay, next one, Russian twist. So we're gonna just sit up. Here we go. Bloody mosquitoes. And then we're just gonna rotate left to right in a V position, just like this. It's like kayaking. I prefer the sway movement, like imagine you have an imaginary paddle that you're just going from left to right as opposed to just touching the floor on each side. For me that works better. It works better the full range of your abdominal. Ooh, 20 seconds left. There we go. Just keep at it. Keep a nice consistent breathing. It's tough, but it's worth it. Only eight exercises, eight minutes of your time. Ah, and done. Oh, for our next one, we've got V sit ups. So we're going to stay in a V position, just like this. Actually, I'm going to this side again. You're going to put your hands just behind you in a V, and then you're going to go down, up. You're not using your hands to push yourself up. You're using your core, but your hands are just there to support you. And personally, I don't recommend just doing the full V setup without that small, slight support with your hands because it puts a lot of pressure on your lower back. And I've had a lower back injury a couple of months back, and it was very, very, oh, another mozzie. Ooh. And it was very, very painful. It was completely immobilized and you just couldn't function without the support of your lower back. Trust me, not a good idea. All right, so we're on to basically our last workout of this eight minute ab crusher. And we're gonna finish it off with a strong elbow plank. Here we go. Just hold it, keep that core nice and tight, legs fully straight, Push the belly up into the air. Keep your back as flat as possible. You're like a tabletop. 30 seconds left. Come on guys, you can do it. We're almost at the finish line. It is very, very, very hot out here today. It hasn't, it's been raining for days. And today's the only weather I found that wow. I could actually go out and, you know, get some exercise done. Enjoy the sun a little bit. Oh, and done, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that quick ab crusher eight-minute workout. Thank you again, and I'll see you at the next one. Peace. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below.